as the boxing hours on the blue corner wearing the red and black hood shorts at the weight knee scale 9 stone 8 pounds tonight he's taking part in his 35th professional contest and is the Venezia España in Colombia is Joshua Ocampo. And So our second bout of the evening, Thomas Vary from Blackpool, Joshua Ocampo from Valencia in Spain. Vary weighing 9 stone, 10 pound, 3 ounces. Ocampo, 9 stone, 8 pound, exactly. Did you get all from you? You've been doing all work. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got to do your own work on this job, Lee, you know that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Too busy setting this up, but to tell you, um, I think Tom could be a super talent, uh, a phenomenal amateur, loads of national titles. I think medal in the Europeans as a junior. Um, yeah, it could go a long way, and he's a he's a lovely boxer. But I suppose we don't really have to rush with him with him being 18 years old. Yeah, he's got plenty of time. He's only a baby, isn't he? I mean, some guys don't even turn pro till mid 20s even even late 20s these days i mean it's... well i think they're all turning over a little bit early but because of covid that was one of the reasons why he uh he came over to us with uh andy abro and andy's got a, a super squad of talented lads that he's brought to us and um i presume I presume they're all going to go a long way yeah he has got a quality stable Andy. Obviously, he's, he's showcasing some of the talent tonight. I think he's got five lads on tonight, you know. Yeah, all, all quality fighters, so hopefully they can all perform tonight. <laughs> oh, lightning fast, isn't it? Yeah, he has got fast hands. He is quality. Well, he's had two very good performances. Uh, and we've thrown him in the deep end. I mean, I don't know much about his opponent. Uh, what's his record? Uh, 8, well, 21 and 5, he's 30 years old, so it's man against boy, very experienced, we'll see how he deals with it. Yeah, he's had 8 victories out of 34 previous bouts. He's only stopped 6 of those 8 wins. Absolutely, yeah, so you know, he's, he's nobody's fool. Ooh. He does pick his shots nice, though, doesn't yeah, he, Yeah, I was just going to say at the moment, Thomas... Uh, He's actually controlling this fight. You'd think Vary was a more experienced kid. But, you know, early rounds. Hopefully it'll be a good test for Vary. Well, that's what you need at this age, you know, don't you? You do, yeah. I mean, again, 18 years of age, if, you, if you're going to turn professional at 18, you must have bags of confidence. Well... I know his coach, Andy Bro, really does. Uh, has a lot of confidence in, his, in all his lads. Hence why he turned them over so young. It's a four rounder, isn't it? It's a, it's a four rounder, this one, Lee. Yeah, we've gone from a six to a four. Are you missing your, your stable man? Well, your, your, your buddy, Mr. At least they've got the same first name as uh, Mr. White, I don't know. Yeah, so all, all you VIP uh, followers out there, 
He's in the boom boom shake room. Yeah, you, you're obviously missing that tonight. So you've got myself behind the camera, Mike Action Gormley, and Lee, head of Stone Hogan. Call him Head of Stone. <laughs> Do you know that's, something uh, though? That's Mr. <laughs> Top Off Whitehead's nickname for Lee. And, and for you, mate, Mr. Archie Gormley. Uh, yeah. You know, it's weird though, he gives you these names and you, you introduce yourself to the it now because it, it doesn't sound right if you don't. Oh, yeah. lovely body shot. Yeah. Do you know, that, he's a good kid, isn't he? His, his quality, yeah, you can see his quality. I, I, I just love the way he's so relaxed. Yeah, he is. I mean, it looks like it looks like a massive weight difference early, doesn't it? But there isn't. There's, there's two pound weight difference in Vary's favour. Vary's ripped though, isn't he? He is ripped. Yeah, he's a, he's a tall kid. Great, he's got lovely fast hands. You know, I, I like the way he mixes it up as well, from head to body. I'm not quite sure where the attacks are coming from, are you? No, no, he's, um, he looks like a bit of a nightmare to fight as well. He's, he just doesn't take a backward step. He's in uh, a Campo's face. I think a Campo at the minute looks like a, a rabbit in the headlights. He doesn't, doesn't look... Uh, he looks a bit reluctant to throw anything. I was going to say, he's afraid to throw anything back because yeah. he's getting punished when he does. Yeah. Do you know what I like? He's keeping his distance well. He's not allowing... Uh, I don't know, he's Joshua... Uh, or Campo. Or Campo to, uh, to allow him to smother or anything. As he takes that step forward, he takes a step back and lets him walk onto something. For such a young kid, it's a, a, a very mature performance, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Like I said earlier, he's, he's got back, looks Ooh. like he's got bags of confidence. And again, you know, he's, he's got fantastic speed, he's got quality shots, and he's so relaxed. Which, again, it, it just loses confidence. You know, I can't wait for his man strength to come. Round three or four? How are you scoring this, or is that a silly question? Yeah, I think again from the, obviously you folks who are watching out there, you can see the you can see the quality in Vera. He's not allowed Ocampo to come forward. Oh, it's a beautiful you know. round right then. And again. <laughs> he showed some real class tonight. Compo's last fight was against Michael Gomez Jr., which was actually last oh, week. Ah, oh, right, yeah. yeah he, lo that. he lost them points over six rounds, so... In fact, uh, Philip, who's on the camera tonight, he, uh, he filmed that show. Yeah, I think uh, Gomez had been out injured for about eight months. Now, what is he, English champion and 18 and all, and here we've got him in with a, uh, a 2-0 kid. Exactly, yeah, that's what I say. He's, you know, they've obviously got confidence in Vera. It's a lovely right hand by Vera. He does snap it in well, doesn't he? Yeah, he's so sharp. Oh, and again. He is 2 0, Vera, no stoppages. I'm sure at some point, whether it's tonight or the next few fights or whatever, that you know, I'm, I'm sure he's going to get a stoppage somewhere along the line. Do you know something? I don't matter if he, if he doesn't, because again, he's still a boy, mate. But uh, I think by the time he's 20, <laughs> that might not be the case no more. Yeah, exactly. You know, he's still growing. He's still, oh. he's still developing. Some sort of snap with all shots in, and again, lovely left up. Just in your face all the time, there isn't it? He? he doesn't take a step back, like I said earlier. This is a, a hard night for uh, Mr. Joshua Ocampo. In fact, 
fact, uh, one of his stable mates uh, made his pro debut last night, another young lad, um, Nelson Birchall, and uh, very similar to this performance, total class. You know, I'd love in, you know, you know, American developed superstars, you know, at our world level at, you know, in the early 20s, you know, 21, 22, they're coming over here as a, as a big name. I'm hoping that some of these kids might be able to do that. A very pleasing style, hasn't he, mate? He certainly has, yeah. Again, he's, he's controlled the fight for three rounds. He's, he's had it all his own way. Nice quick right hand over the top. You can see that amateur pedigree in there, but he seems to be fitting into this full game really well. He's, he's planting his feet and sending him with some power, isn't it? Yeah, and I think he, that you know he, he will develop that power. As he grows, as he gets stronger, matures. Body shot there, mate. Yeah, I think, the, I think the only chances for a compo is if he gets close to Barry, but the chances of that are very unlikely. You can see when he, when he tries to get close, he tries to throw a few shots, and there he just takes that little step back. He, he manages to and keep controls the, it. Yeah, the distance perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah. As I said, he, he's never been allowed to look like that. Oh, man, a little clash of heads and. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he's trying to be adventurous in this last round of Campo, but it's not he's not being very successful. No, no. Like you say, it's been a good test for him, but yeah. uh, I mean maybe, over, sorry Lee. Well, well I was gonna say his stable mate Levi Barnes who's having his third fight tonight is stepping up to uh, six rounds and I think that might be that might be a good way for, for Thomas to come back in the new year with a six rounder. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think he's he's definitely capable of six rounders. Just the way he boxes, you know, the way he keeps his distance in fights. He doesn't get too involved, he doesn't mix anything up. He just, you know, he keeps that range, he works at range. It's what I like to call beautiful boxing, isn't it, mate? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a joy to watch. I don't like to see these, you know, these sort of away fighters, let's call them journeymen, to try and get too adventurous, because as we see in the previous fight, when they do, it could get a bit awkward and heads come together. Yeah, Just well, like that. he's not allowed that, has he? Info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.